morning children today we are going to do an experiment to find the coefficient of viscosity of a viscous fluid by measuring the terminal velocity of a spherical body we have learned in fluid dynamics that whenever a solid falls through a viscous fluid after some time the velocity of the solid becomes constant and that velocity we call as the terminal velocity the expression for terminal velocity is given by 2 by 9 r square rho minus sigma into g by eta here r refers to the radius of the spherical body rho is the density of the fluid which we have taken as uh, rho is the density of the solid and sigma is the density of the fluid the solid bob we have taken is of steel and sigma the is the density of fluid which is glycerin in our case so for finding the value of vt we will use the standard values of rho and sigma eta is the coefficient of viscosity of glycerin in order to start the experiment as you can see we have taken three bobs three spheres of different radius one is of the is very large the other is uh, slightly smaller and there is one which is of a very small radius the radius of these bobs will be measured with the help of a screw gauge we have already learned earlier how to measure the diameter of a spherical body using a screw gauge so first reading that we will take will be of the diameter of the spheres all the three spheres we will first measure the diameter and from there we will note down the radius of the spheres after that you can see over here we have taken a glass tube which is filled with glycerin it is a long tube and the whole tube is filled with glycerin on this tube we have made two marks one near the top of the tube as you can see over here in blue color and the other mark is at the bottom of the tube which is again you can see is in blue color using a normal scale we will first measure the distance between the two marks the distance between the two marks will be measured and will be noted down that is the value s over here after this we take a particular bob whose radius we have already measured and we will make this bob fall through the viscous liquid as soon as the bob crosses the first line we will start our stopwatch and as the bob crosses the second line we will stop the stopwatch so you can see over here i am making this bob fall through the liquid and i will calculate the corresponding time of fall from the top mark to the bottom mark i'll repeat this three times and i will get three values of the time of fall for one given sphere taking the average of this time i can calculate the terminal velocity of the solid of a particular radius r i can repeat this experiment again using spheres of different radii as you can see over here we have another sphere of a smaller radii and one more which is very very small after finding the terminal velocity 
and with the known values of density of steel and glycerin by substituting in the formula we can calculate the coefficient of viscosity of glycerin thank you everyone